The hive is going to stay here for the whole day and uh, to allow not to catch the fire. To use cow, cow dung because cow dung will hold the, the will hold the fire for a quick long time. For quite a long time. And once you we are done with smoking, you make sure you use cow dung to fill any gap that could be that could be on your beehive because that gap could be the entry for to allow the test to enter. So to avoid that one, you will make sure the, the smoke is just coming out from the hole. Because I've traditionally been using it for for many many years, but here it will help to to hold the fire as well, so that this fire can can stay longer, mm. and the and the smoke can rise up to to to, to the beehive. So we put the. Put uh, some pieces of beeswax as well. Those use the cones so that the smell can can be nice. Sometimes you can put some piece of pure beeswax. You can also add some propolis so that the smell can come out. Sometimes we use this. So, so we bring our beehive and we put it here. Make sure you cover here with the sides so that smoke can only come from here on the top. And the, it should not come from the edge. It comes from the edge, like you can see here. Then you put the you put the smoker, the the cow dung, so that the you only need your you only need the the smoke to come through the entrance hole. And all the insects which could be hiding there will start running out. You can see them coming out here. Those small smoke keep the fire and the, the and you get the smoldering smoke. So once you are sure that everything is okay, then you will need to your beehive when it is dry you need to wrap it very well so that the, it's not disturbed by the rains so here we use we use the banana fibers they are also readily available in plantations you pre-prepare yourself you pick them you organize them then you Is starting to come. Mm. So you can 
also use beeswax mm. to bite a, a traditional hive. You just have to get your brush and smear uh, the just plus the beeswax around so that the thing smells of beeswax. And the bees will like the smell of beeswax inside. You can do it weekly in case the bees no. the bee the bee failed to colonize within that week. But should surely colonize in this warming season. Yeah. You can see how it is smashing it up. Let me come close. Can you see? Mm. The beeswax now. Mm. Yes. Yeah. See. Which are spacious enough so that we, because these uh, traditional behaves are always disturbed uh, too much by rain. So to avoid that one, you have to make sure you, you have the right bananas and so that you can put several layers and uh, you lay them in order so that you get the right ones and you put them so they, they look attractive and good and the, the more you lay them it will also help you not to allow insects to live there comfortably because there is not enough space in the layer If you, have, uh, if you have more banana fibers, you can also you can put an extra layer and you tie again so that you are sure the rain is not going to disturb you. Small piece. Not going to disturb you. You are behave. So you 
tie the thing strong. So it cannot easily release itself. The bees will be entering from here, from the small side. So you need to cut the, the bananas. So you leave one part as the veranda. the water also to slip off but coming to so this will be the part on top your cover here put this stick to not to allow it to fall inside then you force it here the stick holds it then you can either put cow dung here if you wanted but you can also use the grass to cover here to fix here so that bees don't enter there But uh, it's advisable that you put some some cow dung so that they uh, prevent the, the cow dung. So whenever you go to, for harvesting, you always go with some cow dung to replace the one you have destroyed. When they, when you, you fill most of the gap, the gaps around the beehive, you also prevent somehow the in insect to have easy access to your beehive. And decide and cover the whole thing if you wanted, but it is, it is better to leave that space inside so that, in case you want to do some checking, maybe a, a wax moss enters, mm. you can just pull out this one mm. and replace it again. Something when a wax moss enters, you will hear the sound, this becoming angry, making a strange sound. Make sure the, the veranda is, is, is on the right side. And once you put it like this, you make sure even when you are taking it to the apiary, you have to take it away from the Checking now because this 
is swimming season now, it's the right time for cycling beehives. So this should be it should be coronating this within a week. So they will enter from here. They will enter from here. So you always need to check the holes that they are big enough for a queen to pass through. Especially some of the holes should be big enough. 